In today's Fix It Guide, I'm going to take a look at another common problem with vintage Masters of the Universe figures, and that's a term called crotch rot, or something I like to call crotch rot. Uh, you'll find uh, with these older figures, uh, the rubber band uh, that perishes, that I've showed you how to replace in other videos, um, can cause a blackening and darkening of the plastic around the uh, crotch joint. Uh, you can see here on this uh, He-Man figure that I've got in pieces at the moment, uh, a, a black residue around the top of the leg there. Uh, I'll also show you Skeletor here who suffers from the, exactly the same problems you can see around the top of his leg. Uh, it's a much darker sort of dirty line uh, and this is due to the rubber used on the inside uh, sort of perishes and then stains the plastic of the leg um, and it's uh, a little bit of a problem it does uh, ruin the look of these figures and uh, make them look uh, pretty rough uh, normal cleaning doesn't seem to remove it um, so today I'll show you a way I found it that certainly uh, improves the uh, the look of this um, it doesn't get rid of it completely but it, it makes a substantial difference so uh, here we have two legs from uh, He-Man that I've taken apart to uh, repair anyway. Uh, you can see this, this leg here, uh, the black around the top is pretty dark and pretty marked. Uh, and then this is one that I've cleaned. Uh, although you can still see some of the, uh, the d dark staining, uh, if I put them next to each other, you can see it's considerably better. Um, uh, I've yet to find a way of getting rid of it completely, but this uh, certainly is a marked improvement. Um, so let's see what you need. So what you'll need uh, for removing the staining is some nail varnish remover uh, and it needs to be acetone based. Uh, you'll see on the back of the products it tells you what's uh, what's in it. This one contains uh, main ingredient is acetone. Uh, so uh, you use some of this and um, some uh, cotton pads here that I've uh, taken from my uh, partner's uh, makeup bag. I hope she doesn't mind. Um, and uh, use the acetone quite liberally to uh, rub over the dirt and uh, marked areas and you'll find with uh, a lot of elbow grease it will slowly remove uh, so let's do that so first get some acetone on the uh, cotton pad uh, make sure to do this in a well ventilated area this stuff uh, is fairly pungent um, right and take your leg that's this uh, is the dirty leg from he-man and just start rubbing uh, you have to rub pretty fiercely and continuously and uh, it's a fairly long boring job and uh, make sure you get into all the grooves there's a lot of, you'll find there's a lot of sort of little cut marks and dings in the legged tops uh, but the more you rub the better this gets right and uh, here we have the end result as you can see it's uh, not got rid of it completely but it's certainly improved the darkness of it um, I've uh, tried this a few times if I take a look at this figure here uh, this one only had a mild case of uh, crotch rot on it and it's pretty much removed it completely there's a few tiny marks left uh, but uh, the the worst sort of parts of it have completely disappeared uh, this uh, figure I was showing you on just now um, is a very sort of severe case of crotch rot and it's probably reduced it by uh, about sort of 50 percent all all round um, I think maybe with a bit more rubbing and uh, work it would it would reduce even more um, but this is the best re results I've had so far um, if I uh, find a better way of doing it I'll let you know anyway thanks for watching <laughs>